from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Every law enforcement officer is being cleared of any possible wrongdoing in the Pulse nightclub massacre. The state attorney saying no victims died from friendly fire. Investigators say combined, the gunmen and police fired more than 400 rounds of ammunition. The shooting claimed the lives of 49 people and injured more than 50 others. Police killed that gunman. Meanwhile, threatened and harassed a former Marjorie Stoneman Douglas security guard taking action against a Parkland shooting victim's father. The former watchman Andrew Medina claims Andrew Pollock threatened him at a park. So Medina is now pursuing a restraining order against Pollock. Pollock lost his daughter Meadow during the shooting last year. Meanwhile, Pollock is also suing Medina, accusing him of negligence for his role in the 2018 massacre. A day before the one year anniversary of the Parkland shooting, Governor Ron DeSantis just announcing two executive orders aimed at improving school safety. He wants to create a line of communication between agencies so they can be proactive and pinpoint potential violent suspects before they act. The governor is also adding more funding and extending the deadline for the Guardian program. In other news, it had a good run, but NASA's longest running rover in Mars on Mars is now dead. Opportunity landed on the red car red planet rather 15 years ago. The vehicle was built to operate just three months, but it kept going until a dust storm hit eight months ago. Opportunity roamed 28 miles around Mars. It found evidence that ancient Mars had water on its surface and might have been capable of sustaining microorganisms. Now here's Dennis with your forecast. Den. How you doing everybody? A snuggle alert has been issued for the overnight hours, waking up to the upper 30s to low 40s for your Valentine's Day morning. Skies will be clear. Temperatures will be chilly. I'd say about 39 or 40 in Citrus County. Low to mid 40s in Hillsborough, mid to upper 40s Pinellas County, Pasco, also Sumter likely in the lower 40s. So a bit of patchy frost is a possibility. And then middle 40s across Polk County. We warm up into the mid 70s later in the day. We're back in the 80s by the weekend. All right, thanks, Dennis. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Drivers, always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.